Welcome to this video on creating a stock item in Chaos Control Cloud. As you can see, I'm already logged in, so let's crack on. On the left of our screen, we're going to go to the stock item button and click that once. That'll bring our stock screen up so we can see all the listing of all of our key stock items at the minute. The first thing I'm going to do is use the action button at the top, new stock item. Because we're already in the stock screen, we've got that new stock item action available to us. If you're in another part of the system, you could click on the drop down and select new stock item from the list. So we confirm that that's what we want to crack on with. System goes away and gives us a new stock code. So I've got some uh, product details ready to go. I'm going to be creating a new heavy duty wheel set uh, from Kinesis, who are a bike manufacturer in Cambridge. Uh, and I've got a handy notepad file just off to one side with all my details. So uh, to avoid boring you to death with typing, I'm going to put a code in. I'm not going to worry about another reference here, although if we wanted to have a secondary uh, barcode for the product, we could do. With our description, I've got that ready to go as well. So it's wonderfully long-winded, as is the stock code. Stock type is the category we're going to be uh, using for this product. So we've got a whole range of categories set up here. If I scroll back up, you can see I've got some cycling ones, and there's one here for wheel sets. So I'm going to put it into that stock type. I'm not going to worry about a subtype for now. Um, that can be used for an extra layer of categorization should I need it. Uh, for the time being, I've decided I don't. The manufacturer for this is going to be Kinesis. So I can type straight in, hit enter to bring them up, and away we go. The second section here is our accounting area, apart from the stock value. And I'm going to set that to be 19999 because that's also going to be my buy price for the product. I'm not going to worry about setting overheads for now, but obviously if you want to take into account how much it costs you on average to store a product, etc., you can do. The final section I'm going to fill in on this screen right now is my pricing. So as I mentioned a minute ago, uh, I'm paying £199.99 for this product. I'm looking to sell it at around 315 from memory. Yeah, 314.99. Sale limit, so this is where I can set a percentage discount um, override. I'm going to set that to 10% so that if anybody does key a sales order for any reason, they can't discount it lower than that. Uh, the last value on this screen, uh, and I did say that previously, so I apologize for lying, uh, is the average weight. I'm going to put that in as 960 grams. Okay. Now, there are a couple of other things I want to do from with my stock code before I finish creating it. Uh, the first is I'm going to check the options and make sure that the item's controlled, which it is, uh, and that my net unit for purchase is set and my net unit for sale is not. Everything else I'm going to leave as is because this is just a standard item. Next thing I'm going to look at are my suppliers. So, Kinesis are the manufacturer for this wheel set. Uh, they're also the people I'm going to buy it from. So, I can come into the supplier tab, I can click on the new item button above the grid, and I can search for Kinesis. Now, quickest way of doing this is to click into the company name on the grid and it starts filtering down that for me straight away. Double click, drops Kinesis into the grid. Buy price is going to be the same, the supplier ref is going to be the same as the one that I've already got in the stock code because that's where I grabbed it from. I'm not getting a discount unfortunately and we're just going to order in singles. So, fast, last but not least, we're going to set up our telesales data. You may have noticed in that notepad file I've gone back to a couple of times that I've got some nice technical details there, and I'm going to save the stock item. 